the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. You're all very welcome to our English Mass here at the Capelina this afternoon. Welcome especially my brother priests from New York, Nigeria, England, and India. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. To him be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. Glory 
to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. To him be glory forever. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to the Spirit. To Him be glory forever. To Him be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I read him from the Acts of the Apostles. Everyone came running towards Peter and John in great excitement to the portico of Solomon, as it is called, where the man was still clinging to them. When Peter saw the people, he addressed them. Why are you so surprised at this? Why are you staring at us as though we had made this man walk by our own power or holiness? You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant, Jesus, the same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate, after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer, why you kill the prince of life? God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact, we are the witnesses. And it is the name of Jesus, which through our faith in it, has brought back the strength of this man, whom you see here, and who is well known to you. It is faith in that name that has restored this man to health as you can all see. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. This was the way God carried out what he had foretold when he said through all his prophets that Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped, wiped out, and so that the Lord may send a time of comfort. Then he will send you the Christ he has predestined, that is Jesus, whom heaven must keep till the universal restoration comes, which God proclaimed, speaking through his holy prophets. Moses, for example, said, the Lord God will raise up a prophet like myself, for you, from among your own brothers, you must listen to whatever he tells you. The man who does not listen to that prophet is to be cut off from the people. In fact, all the prophets that have ever spoken from Samuel onwards have predicted these days. You are the heirs of the prophets 
the heirs of the covenant God made with our ancestors. When he told Abraham, in your offspring, all the families of the earth will be blessed. It was for you in the first place that God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning every one of you from your wicked ways. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, the response is, How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. What is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him. How great is your name, O Lord our God, throughout the earth. Yet you have made him little less than a God. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. How great is your name, O Lord our God, throughout the earth. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the earth and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, throughout the earth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about all this when Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and feet. Their joy was so great that they still could not believe it, and they stood there dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of great fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, this is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the, laws of, in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms has to be fulfilled. He then opened their, opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, so you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that in his name, repentance for forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. Yes, you are witnesses to this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
If someone who knew absolutely nothing about Fatima approached me and asked me what it was all about, I would ask them to look at the word Fatima. The first letter, F. We're gathered here in faith, gathered from many countries in the world, but the one faith has brought us here. Faith in God, professing the faith in a God who loves us, who sent his son to suffer and to die and to rise from the dead for our sins. And that is what we as pilgrims in this world have a desire for here in Fatima to reach our eternal home in heaven. Here Our Lady came to remind mankind of this certain day. We are gathered here in faith. The letter A, the angel played an important part in the Fatima story. It was the angel who appeared to the three little shepherds in 1916 to prepare them for Our Lady's apparition to them the following year. The A reminds us of that each community, each one of us, has a guardian angel. And the Fatima story again reminds us to pray for, to our angel guardians for protection from the evil that so often cripples our world. The T in the word Fatima, for me, stands for the Blessed Trinity, our fundamental belief, the triune God, one God in three persons. And Mary comes to Fatima as the daughter of the Father, mother of the Son, and spouse of the Spirit. The prayer of the angel in Fatima here is a prayer of adoration to the Most Holy Trinity. The letter I recalls for me the image of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which Mary manifested to the three little shepherds during the June apparition. Every mother loves their children and wants the best for them. And Mary, our mother, is no different. She shows her Immaculate Heart and the motherly heart here in Fatima to express her love and concern for us, her children. Just as a mother loves her children and has, a, and has to suffer often because of them, the thorns that surround the heart of Mary reminds us of her suffering for the love of each of us. The letter M stands for the motherhood of Mary. As I said here in Fatima, we have a mother whom we can turn to in all the trials of life. Like any good mother, Mary is always present, always caring, always receptive to our needs. The final word, in the word Fatima reminds me of the word atonement, to make reparation for the wrongs we have done. Atonement or reparation for our sins is so necessary 
in our world today. It is difficult to forgive, but it's equally difficult to ask for forgiveness and to make atonement ourselves. There is healing in atonement and peace of mind and heart. And this is what Our Lady asks of us here at Fatima. Do not offend God any longer. He is much offended. Let us pray today that we can live the message of Fatima and bring about that peace in our homes, in our countries, in our world, which is the peace of Our Lady of Fatima, the peace of the risen Christ that we heard of in today's gospel, which is so necessary. We stand now and we make our petitions. This day, Jesus show, uh, this day shows us Jesus as truly Son of God and his teachings as to be trusted. We pray to be wholehearted believers. The woman and the apostles who saw Jesus risen were willing to die for the truth of it. May we believe in Jesus with our whole hearts on the evidence of the witnesses. This day was made by the Lord and be glad. The disciple who ran with Peter tells us he saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was risen May we also believe and love the risen Lord as our Savior. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice, we rejoice and be glad. The apostles tell us that Jesus rose on the third day, just as the prophets said he would. May we believe and love our Savior. This day was made by the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice and be glad. Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene and two other holy women. They knew him and spoke with him. He appeared to all the apostles and bought them great peace and forgiveness. May we believe and love our risen Lord. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and be glad. We live in a world where few believe in our risen Lord. We pray that our lives will reflect the power and the peace that comes from living in Jesus' way. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and be glad. We reflect for a moment that nothing can come between us and our Lord. Mary, with your dear son risen, nothing could ever mar your peace again. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord's with thee. Bless are thou amongst women. Bless is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. Loving God, Father of Jesus and our Father, 
As you brought Jesus safely through his passion, bring us safely, we pray, through our daily trials. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope for your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis Sapo and Antony, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will bless any religious objects uh, just now. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima and Saint Francisco and Jacinta Marto, may Almighty God bless these objects and bless all those who use them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Holy and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.